Hello everyone, happy evening, a very good evening. I hope and I believe all of you are doing well. Uh, before we start with the session, a uh, quick nod whether the audio visual is all good. Uh, can I get a quick nod whether the audio visual is all good? I am not able to see the comments. Okay, so here it goes. Thank you so much. Um, so the today's session, this is another episode in our uh, uh, Rank Booster Revision series. Just a minute. So in the today's session, we are going to discuss the TNM staging, very, very important, uh, the gynecologic cancers, which uh, basically includes your uh, CA cervix, CA endometrium, CA ovary and CA breast. These are very, very important and must know cancers. There is a list of uh, cancer staging that you must be knowing and you must be revising before your exam. We'll try and do as much as possible in these last 10 days. Today, the session focuses on cervix, endometrium and ovary and CA breast. I have covered in detail with the new updates. What are the changes as compared to older staging on the plus platform? So all the plus subscribers, please make a note that please watch the CA breast staging from there. It's a detailed session with all the tricks and even CA cervix, endometrium, ovary I've covered in the plus platform in detail. In this session, basically, I'll be telling you the quick tips and tricks where you know it is confusing and the questions can be asked in the exam all right so let us start with it and before that a quick reminder to everyone i hope all of you are aware of the plus and iconic subscription and you have a free grand test on 4th of september okay so make sure you uh, attend that because the questions are curated by the educators and you'll have a discussion of that as well now special class are free life classes so i generally take classes at 5 pm uh, on the n academy app the free life class whenever you are joining if asked for a code you can use the code dr nikita like today we discussed pharmacology mnemonics master class we had part one on youtube part two we had today in the special class now since a small portion is still remaining uh, very very important that we will try and do tomorrow 5 pm okay and if there is any change in the plan i'll definitely let you know on telegram group plus tomorrow 10 pm we also have radiology top 15 expected questions for your exam so you have two special classes tomorrow so tomorrow we will not have the youtube session 10 30 pm which we have scheduled tomorrow we will not have that okay again we will have it day after tomorrow so that's the plan for tomorrow 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. both are special classes and they are on the app okay and uh, these are the batches that we have started recently so the need pg candidates make a note that the last three years pyq's batch has also started on 1st of september you will have two hours session per subject and uh, in one week all the subjects will be covered and when you whenever you take one month subscription which is the minimum this is what all you get in the subscription and as i was telling you this is the grand test 4th of september 9 am all the educators have contributed to the questions so make sure you attend that okay now let's start with our uh, staging first let us quickly see compare and contrast you know when you read the staging when you compare and contrast the staging then it helps you remember it better you know key uh, vagina involvement is what stage in cervix uh, what stage in ca endometrium that is what uh, you know we should be knowing and uh, if at all uh, the session ends abruptly because i'm facing some technical glitch in the youtube sessions 
please go back to the link and join again i'm giving you a word of caution beforehand itself okay yes sunshine we will have after pharmacology we will plan biochemistry mnemonics mega revision okay we will do that after pharmacology is done all right so this is uh, what i want to highlight first i will quickly tell you the points then we will see the detailed staging now in cs cervix now all the cancer stage 1 2 3 4 what is stage 1 in cs cervix the one which is confined to the cervix basically any stage 1 cancer in any organ is confined to that organ right it's confined to that organ so cs cervix confined to cervix important question that can be asked in the exam what if in a patient of ca cervix the uterine body is also involved what if the uterine body is involved then it is with stage if you have uterine body involvement in a patient of ca cervix then it is with stage yes so remember that the involvement of the uterine body does not change the staging okay does not change the staging even if it's uterine body involvement remember it is stage 1 only in contrast in a case of ca endometrium if you have cervix involvement okay endometrium wala agar cervix mein ja raha hai then it is not stage 1 then it is your stage 2 cancer okay that is the difference so absolutely right mm choudhury and uh, remember this is number one important point ki ca cervix mein agar body involved hai it is stage 1 but ca endometrium mein agar cervical stroma involved hai not the glands the endo cervical glands then it is stage 2 now next stage 2 in ca cervix stage 2a and stage 2b remember that stage 2a is all aa that means the vagina involvement b is your p b is rhyming with p okay remember b is rhyming with p so that is your parametrium involvement even in 2a it is upper 2/3 of vagina okay it is upper 2/3 of vagina and uh, if it is lower 1/3 vagina then it is stage 3a okay then it is stage 3a so what is stage 3 in stage 3 again you have stage 3a b and c okay so aa is all vagina again so now it is lower vagina now suppose if this is the cervix this is the vagina so upper 2/3 vagina is all aa it is 2a lower 1/3 lower vagina involvement is stage 3a okay that is stage 3a we will come to the ca endometrium as well now the next one what is stage 3b like stage 2b was p parametrium stage 3b is p that is the involvement the sideways involvement is going till the pelvic wall and it involves the ureter and that is how it leads to hydronephrosis so hydronephrosis remember very very important and frequently asked is your stage 3b okay that is stage 3b stage 3c is retroperitoneal lymph nodes involvement now remember that in all your gynecologic cancers the pelvic cancers your ca cervix endometrium and ovary you have a uh, retroperitoneal lymph node involvement and inguinal lymph node involvement okay retroperitoneal lymph node involvement is what stage in ca cervix ca endometrium and in ca ovary retroperitoneal lymph node involvement is stage 3 for all the cancers an inguinal lymph node involvement is stage 4b so the inguinal lymph nodes are considered as distant lymph nodes for your pelvic cancers for the gynecologic cancers okay so remember retroperitoneal lymph node is stage 3 stage 3a hai ki 3b hai ki 3c hai wo hum compare and contrast we will do in a while inguinal is stage 4b okay inguinal is stage 4b so similarly here it is stage 3c which is retroperitoneal lymph node involvement which involves your pelvic and para aortic lymph nodes okay pelvic and para aortic lymph nodes now stage 4 is your for the ca cervix ca endometrium it is aju baju ka urinary bladder and rectum involvement not just edema it should be biopsy proven it is not just edema so adjacent organs that is urinary bladder and rectum stage 4b is distant metastasis or inguinal lymph nodes okay distant metastasis or inguinal lymph nodes all right is this uh, clear with everyone 
CS cervix, what are the points that we have learned? Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. Stage 1, confined to cervix with or without uterine body involvement. It does not change the stage. Okay, it does not change the stage. Then stage 2, what is stage 2 for CA cervix? You have 2A, you have 2B. You have 3A, B, C. Okay, 2A is all A, vagina has all A. It is upper two-third vagina. B is P, that is parametrium involvement, not going till the pelvic wall. 3A is lower vagina, all AA. B is going till the pelvic wall, involving the ureter, so causing hydronephrosis. Okay. <clears throat> Next one, stage 3C is your retroperitoneal lymph nodes involvement, which involves pelvic and para-aortic lymph nodes. Stage 4A is adjacent organs, urinary bladder, rectum involvement, biopsy proven. Stage 4B is distant or inguinal lymph nodes. Okay, this is CA cervix. Now, let us go to CA endometrium. Okay, now let's go to CA endometrium and see what is the difference. Everybody give me a quick thumbs up if CA cervix is clear. 1 confined to cervix plus minus body. 2AB, A is vagina, B is parametrium. 3A is lower vagina, 3B is pelvic, 3C is retroperitoneal. 4A is ajubajuke organs and 4B is inguinal lymph nodes. Okay. Now let us contrast, compare and contrast with CA endometrium. Again, you have stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1 is confined to uterine body. This is CA endometrium stage 1. It is confined to uterine body. If it is cervix involvement, remember that in CA endometrium, it becomes your stage 2. While in CA cervix, if the uterine body is involved, it is still stage 1. That is the number 1 difference between the two. Now, even in the uterine body, it is only the till the myometrium involvement. The serosa is not included. Okay, the serosa is not included. When you have serosa involvement in a patient of CA endometrium, then it is what stage? Then it is what stage when you have serosa involvement? Please remember that serosa involvement in a case of CA endometrium is stage 3A. I'll tell you how to remember that. But remember that it's only up to the myometrium with or without myometrium involvement. So stage 1A is no myometrium involvement or less than half myometrium involvement. And stage 1B is more than equal to half myometrial thickness involvement. Okay, serosa is stage 3A. Okay, serosa is stage 3A. Stage 2 is now imagine that this is the uterus this is the cervix you have the endometrium here when it goes down stage 2 is first going down into the cervix remember it is cervical stroma it is not just endo cervical glands if it is just endo cervical glands the cervical stroma is not involved then it is still stage 1 so if they give you in a patient of ca endometrium with endo cervical gland involvement it is still stage 1 to call it stage 2, it has to be cervical stroma. Alright. Now stage 3A, 3B and C. Similar to your CA cervix, stage 3C is retroperitoneal lymph node involvement, pelvic and para-aortic. 3C1 is pelvic, 3C2 is para-aortic. Similarly uh, here in CA endometrium, serosa, adnexa, the horizontal spread comes first. Okay, so your serosa involvement. Serosa ke baad mein ya apka adnexa involvement. The horizontal spread is stage 3A. Now the downward wala spread. Yani agar cervix se spread ho ke. Stage 2 hua cervix. Uske baad agar cervix ke aju baju gaya. That means parametrium involvement or vagina involvement. Then it is stage 3B. Okay then it is stage 3B. So basically stage 3A is upper he going to the serosa and the adnexa the horizontal upper spread stage 3b is after going to the cervix then it has gone horizontal parametrium or vertical it is vagina so both the parametrium and vagina basically related to cervix that means higher wala grade so that is your stage 3b okay that's your stage 3b so remember serosa adnexa is your stage 3a Parametrium and vagina is stage 3B. While in a case of CA cervix, okay, so if I ask you about parametrium involvement, 
okay parametrium involvement in a case of ca cervix and in a case of ca endometrium what is the staging parametrium ca cervix p is b so it is stage some stage b what stage b it is parametrium cervix ke just baju mein that is early stage 2b not stage 3b right in a case of ca endometrium it is first going down that is stage 2 ho gaya cervix mein then it is going to the parametrium so it is stage 3b that is okay then it is stage 3b while uh, vagina involvement okay vagina involvement in a case of ca cervix and in a case of ca endometrium in a case of ca cervix the upper vagina involvement okay vagina 2a and the lower vagina is stage 3a in a case of ca endometrium the uh, vagina involvement it is after the cervix that is it is stage 3 and it is stage 3b okay then it is stage 3b so remember this difference between the two just remember ki endometrium yani hum upar ki baat kar rahe hain cervix ke aaju baaju agar spread ho raha hai in a case of ca endometrium then it is stage 3b if it is spreading adjacent to the upper uterus then it is stage 3a so cirrhosis and adnexa is stage 3a okay the next one 3c dekh liya 4a is same adjacent organs your urinary bladder rectum involvement and 4b is same distant and your inguinal lymph nodes inguinal lymph nodes is stage 4b okay so everybody is clear with ca cervix ca endometrium vagina parametrium involvement is what is different in uh, in between the two okay and remember that cirrhosis involvement is stage 3a adnexa involvement is stage 3 uh 3a again how about ovary involved in a case of ca cervix like we said that in a case of uh, ca endometrium okay in a case of ca endometrium if you have adnexa involved then it is stage 3a if you have ovary involvement in a case of ca cervix remember that it does not change the staging okay involvement of ovary does not change the staging like involvement of your uterine body does not change the staging okay so that does not change the staging remember that okay now going to the next one in case of a uh, ca cervix what are the new changes that we have as compared to the older staging now remember that the width of the tumor is not considered that is an important change it is only the depth of the tumor that is considered that is one important change right you have new category that has been uh, introduced that is stage 1b1 pehle rehta tha 1b1 1b2 okay now there is one extra less than 2 cm has also been introduced because it was found that these patients who have tumor size less than 2 they have a better survival and you can give them as a treatment option of radical trachelectomy okay without doing entire hysterectomy and all radical trachelectomy can be the treatment and it gives a better survival and stage 1a stage 1b what is the difference pehle to humne dekha ki ca cervix mein stage 1 is basically confined to cervix or uterine body 1a is basically microscopic that means you cannot see uh, with your naked eyes clinically nahi hai and even in microscopic it is still 5 mm depth while in stage b if it is microscopic more than 5 mm depth or you can see it clinically that is your stage 1b so microscopic more than 5 clinically less than 2 b1 2 2 b2 and more than 4 is b3 so you have 2 and 4 less than 2 2 2 4 and more than 4 that is b1 b2 b3 okay microscopic up to 5 mm is stage 1a depth not the width remember it's the depth not the width okay now let us quickly see your um, ovarian cancer staging the figo updated figo staging for ovarian cancer again stage 1 2 3 and 4 similar to any cancer the alternate numbers 1 and 3 they have your stages 1 abc 3 abc in 2 and 4 you have only two stages 2 ab and 4 ab okay jaise aapke baki cancers mein bhi hai waisa hai isme now what is included in stage 1 1a 1b and 1c so stage 
here it's a bit different your ovarian cancer staging is a bit different from your endometrium and the ca cervix it is different stage 1a stage 1b basically the tumor confined to ovary 1a 1b if it's only one ovary it is your stage 1a b is both the ovaries okay so 1b is both the ovaries are involved now 1c is very very important okay it's basically the tumor on the surface of the ovary or there is a spill in stage 1c 1c2 and 1c3 if i tell you that a patient who presented a patient of ca ovary already has malignant ascites what stage is it it is your stage 1c3 okay it is your stage 1c3 because it has automatically spontaneously spread and it has caught caused ascites if it is pre operative then it is your stage 2 if it is surgical spill that during the surgery the spill happened because of the surgery then it is because of the surgery then it is stage 1c1 that means ye milder wala hai agar pehle se spread ho gaya hai and it is causing ascites then it is higher one which is stage 1c3 remember that in ca ovary stage 2 is basically your pelvic organ involvement okay so pelvic organ involvement so even your rectum and all is involved here that is the difference as compared to your ca cervix and endometrium there rectum involvement is stage 4 here it is different so stage 2a is pelvic organ involvement from the ovary either the fallopian tube or the uterus so if it is uterus or fallopian tube then it is your stage 2a if it is any other pelvic organ then it is stage 2b so for ovarian cancer pelvic organ involvement is stage 2 in stage 3a b and c again stage 3 we said retro peritoneal lymph nodes for any pelvic gynecologic cancer stage 3a1 is retro peritoneal lymph node involvement while the rest stage 3a2 b c they cater to your peritoneal deposits okay we know that in a patient of ovarian cancer there are a lot of peritoneal deposits which take place so that is particularly included in ovarian cancer staging if it is macroscopic that means you can see the deposits macroscopically with the naked eye then it is stage 3b or c if it is microscopic it is stage 3a2 okay macroscopic maybe agar less than 2 cm hai to stage 3b more than 2 cm hai to stage 3c so just hold on i will clarify this all do not worry about this okay what is difference abhi to humne ovary mein the pelvic organ involvement already stage 2 mein dal diya so what comes in stage 4a is your pleural effusion very very important pleural effusion is stage 4a while lung involvement is stage 4b that is the difference stage 4b is liver involvement spleen involvement inguinal lymph nodes involvement again inguinal lymph nodes is stage 4b let me tell you the important points here in ca ovary so stage 1 2 3 and 4 this is for ca ovary stage 1 confined to the organ if it is stage uh, only one ovary it is stage 1a if it is both the ovaries then it is stage 1b what is your stage 1c related to the surface and the spill in 1c again you have 1c 2 3 ascites is higher wala that means 1c 3 pre operative is 1c 2 surgical spill is 1c 1 so ascites is important here stage 2 for ovary is pelvic organ pelvic organ ovary ke baju mein fallopian tube and it's the uterus so uterus fallopian tube is 2a other pelvic organs is 2b stage 3 you have again a b c b and c deal with the macroscopic peritoneal deposits b is less than 2 cm c is more than 2 cm even in a we have a1 and a2 a1 retro peritoneal lymph nodes A2 is microscopic peritoneal deposits. Stage 4A and 4B. 4A is pleural effusion. 4B is your distant organ involvement, the liver parenchyma, uh, the spleen parenchyma, lung parenchyma, and even your inguinal lymph nodes. Okay, and even your inguinal lymph nodes. So that is your ovarian cancer staging. Okay, ovarian cancer staging. Let us quickly see this. The points. remember that if it is liver or spleen surface involvement 
please remember the difference surface involvement is given in the question or it is liver spleen parenchyma involvement surface is the peritoneum peritoneal deposits are stage 3 parenchyma is into the parenchyma distant organ then it becomes stage 4 inguinal is all stage 4 in gynecologic retroperitoneal is stage 3 here it is stage 3a malignant ascites is stage 1c3 okay it's stage 1c3 and pleural effusion is stage 4a remember pleural effusion is stage 4a while the lung parenchyma involvement is stage 4b okay there's a difference between the two now going to the next one if you get a question that for retroperitoneal lymph nodes assessment which is the most sensitive investigation i'm just highlighting the important points remember that it is pet ct it is more sensitive than ct or mri so it is pet ct which is the most sensitive okay it is the most sensitive right now next point humne ye cervix wala staging to sab dekh liya hai 1a is basically microscopic 1b you have microscopic more than 5 or you have clinical 1b1 is the new category which is introduced right and next we have i want to go to the mcqs tell me what will be the answer to this presence of which of the following changes the stage of ca cervix presence of which of the following changes the stage of ca cervix what is the answer to this yes correct maya the answer is none of the above remember that the question is saying option is saying lymphatic invasion vascular invasion it is not telling you your uh lymph node involvement okay lymph node involvement so ovary involvement uterine body involvement i already told you does not change the staging even your lymphovascular space invasion does not change the staging okay so remember the ovarian involvement does not change the stage and even your uh, lymphovascular space involvement does not change the stage so this is what is mentioned here the involvement of vascular or lymphatic spaces does not change the staging and the lateral extent of the lesion that means the width of the lesion is no longer considered this is for ca cervix for your retroperitoneal lymph nodes just stage 3 c here you can either diagnose them radiologically or by pathology so you use the and or notation r and p ki aapne kaise detect kiye okay how did you detect them okay uh, next one okay if i tell you that look at this mri image okay look at this mri image this is the uterus that you see here there is a lesion in the cervix which is going to the uterine body and the size of the lesion is 5 centimeters this was confined to this only there was no other involvement what do you think is the stage of ca cervix what stage of ca cervix is this First, is it stage 1, 2, 3, 4? What stage is it? It is confined to the cervix and involving the uterine body. Is it stage 1, 2, 3, 4? Right? It is stage 1. Because uterine body involvement does not change the staging. Now, whether it is stage 1A or it is stage 1B. 1A1, 1A2, 1B1, 1B2 or 1B3. Here in CA cervix, you do not have A, B, C. You only have A and B. So remember the uterine body involvement is stage 1 only. Stage 1, this is 5 centimeters. That means more than 4 centimeters. So this is stage 1, B, 3. Right in B, you have less than 2, 2, 2, 4 and more than 4. 1, B, 1, B, 2 and B, 3. So this is stage 1, B, 3. Right. Next one. Look at this. Uh, this is your MRI again. This is the urinary bladder, T2 weighted MRI, white urine is what you are seeing. And this is what is shown in the image. What do you deduce of, out of this image is that this hypo intense rim hai surrounding the cervix, hypo intense rim is lost in this region. Okay, it is not clear in this region. So the loss of the hypo intense rim is what tells you that there is parametrium involvement how do you diagnose parametrium involvement 
इधर ऑन यूएसडी और एम आर आई सी टी स्कैन क्लिनिकली उतना अच्छा नहीं होता है एम आर आई इज बेटर द बेस्ट इज एम आर आई सो द लॉस ऑफ टी टू हाइपो इंटेंस रिम इज सीन दैट मीन्स दे आर टेलिंग यू दैट देर इज पैरामेट्रियम इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड पैरामेट्रियम इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज वॉट दिस इज पैरामेट्रियम द ब्लैडर का वॉल इज इंटैक्ट ओके यू कैन सी दिस ब्लैक कलर वॉल इट इज इंटैक्ट पैरामेट्रियम इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज वॉट स्टेज ऑफ सी ए सर विक्स पैरामेट्रियम इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज वॉट स्टेज ऑफ सी ए सर्विक्स सर्विक्स में पैरामेट्रियम सबसे क्लोजेस्ट है तो वो स्टेज टू में आएगा कि स्टेज थ्री में आएगा इट विल बी स्टेज टू सर्विक्स में वजाइना इज ए एंड पैरामेट्रियम पेल्विक वॉल इज बी सो इट इज स्टेज टू बी ओके दिस इज स्टेज टू बी फॉर सी ए सर्विक्स If this was a patient of CA endometrium, then this would have been which stage? Endometrium says cervix. Then it has gone to the parametrium. That is your stage three B. Okay, that is your stage three B in that case. All right. Next one. Uh, this is a PET scan showing the lymph nodes, the retroperitoneal lymph nodes, pelvic lymph nodes. This is your stage three C. Remember, retroperitoneal lymph node very very important is stage three. for your pelvic or gynecologic cancers this is where you see the distant organ involvement okay you are seeing the distant supraclavicular all this is distant that is stage 4b okay lung metastasis distant organ that is again your stage 4b you see a cavitatory lesion that is stage 4b tell me what stage of ca cervix is this if you are given this image what stage of ca cervix is this Why do you call this three B? Absolutely right. So on the CT scan, you can see this hydronephrosis. On the ultrasound, you can see this hydronephrosis, black colored fluid. That is hydronephrosis is stage three B. It is going up to the pelvic wall or causing hydronephrosis. So that is stage three B. Okay. What uh, what stage of CA cervix is this? This is going till the pelvic wall. P is B. Pelvic तक जाने वाला stage two B या three B ये हो जाएगा stage three B. The pelvic wall involvement. Again your ureter involvement, hydronephrosis. That is stage three B. Okay. Involvement of lower one third of vagina in CA cervix is what stage? Involvement of lower one third of vagina in CA cervix is what stage? So remember that for cervix, the vagina, the upper vagina is the closest, so that becomes your stage two. The lower vagina is away, that becomes your stage three. Vagina is all A A, so that is your stage three A, right? That is your stage three A, absolutely right. R and P suffix are used to annotate which stage in CA cervix. We just now said radiologic, pathologic. How did you detect it? You have retroperitoneal lymph nodes, so that becomes your stage 3 c retroperitoneal lymph node involvement in ca cervix ca endometrium and ca ovary in all of them it is stage 3 cervix and endometrium it is stage 3 c ovary mein it is which stage ovary mein retroperitoneal lymph node involvement is your stage 3 a right 3 a1 if you remember it is 3 a1 which is your retroperitoneal lymph nodes involvement in ca ovary Right. So that was about CA endometrium, uh, CA cervix. Let us see some questions on CA endometrium. Endo cervical glandular involvement in CA endometrium is what stage? Endo cervical glandular involvement in CA endometrium is what stage? Absolutely right. Remember, it is stage one. Stage two is your cervical stroma involvement, not just the endo cervical glands. So that is your stage one. Serosa involvement. All this is about CA endometrium that we are talking about. Serosa involvement is what stage? Absolutely. 
absolutely right that is your stage 3a remember that in stage 3 upar wala horizontal spread that is cirrhosa and adnexa is stage 3a if it has gone cervix ke baad it has gone horizontal or vertical that means into parametrium or into vagina then it becomes your stage 3b so cirrhosa is stage 3a okay cervical stroma we just now said is stage 2 okay that is stage 2 parametrium involvement is what stage again just now we discussed cervix ke baad idhar udhar gaya then it becomes your stage 3b okay then it becomes your stage 3b vagina involvement again it is after the cervix that it becomes your stage 3b this is for ca endometrium okay full thickness myometrial involvement is what stage full thickness myometrial involvement is what stage of ca endometrium very correct so the myometrium that means the uterine body may have full thickness is your stage 1b okay more than or equal to 50 percent that is stage 1b positive pelvic lymph nodes without para aortic lymph nodes is what stage positive pelvic lymph nodes so this is basically your stage 3c you have 3c1 and 3c2 one is pelvic lymph nodes Two is para aortic lymph nodes with or without pelvic lymph nodes. In 3C1, you do not have any para aortic. If you have positive para aortic without or with, then it is your stage 3C2. Okay, then it is your stage 3C2. And positive inguinal lymph nodes for all pelvic gynecologic cancers, that is your stage 4B. Okay, that's your stage 4B. So that was about this. Let me show you some. Uh, Involvement of liver surface is what stage of ovarian cancer? Involvement of liver surface. Remember that it's talking about surface. That means basically the peritoneal deposits. Peritoneal or retroperitoneal lymph nodes. That is your stage 3. If it is parenchyma, then it is your stage 4. Okay. Retroperitoneal is stage 3. For ovarian cancer, it is stage 3A. For rest, it is stage 3C. Okay. Inguinal is stage 4. Pleural effusion is what stage of ovarian cancer? Pleural effusion. Is it stage 3B, 3C, 4A or 4B? Pleural effusion is? Very correct. That is stage 4A. 4B is parenchyma, lung, liver, spleen, inguinal lymph nodes. Okay. What is stage 3B and 3C of ovarian cancer? That is macroscopic peritoneal deposits 3b is less than 2 centimeters 3c is more than 2 centimeters so you have peritoneal deposits which is spoken about in ovarian cancer all right so that was about the today's session guys uh, that was on your three cancers we have covered ca cervix ovary and endometrium ca breast it's again a detailed discussion a uh, comparatively longer staging so please watch the plus class that i've taken the tricks have been discussed there how to remember the staging so ca breast has been covered on the plus platform in detail and all you need to do is download the unacademy learning app or uh, you know you have the link in the description you can join me for free live class tomorrow 5 pm we will have pharmacology remaining mnemonics master class at 5 pm and at 10 pm the final revision of radiology top 15 must know most expected questions in radiology tomorrow 10 pm okay tomorrow we will not have a youtube live session okay and please make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification for every live session that goes on and uh, i hope you've liked this video this has helped you in the final revision of these cancer staging if yes, please do let me know in the comments and do not forget to share it with your friends, juniors or whoever is appearing for the exam. Alright, so thank you so much. And uh, yes, absolutely uh, Neeraj, you can use the rapid course for upcoming FMG as well. Alright, so thank you. Goodbye, take care, good night and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. And please remember, today I have posted a video on a very, very important message for all the parents, not only your parents, but any parent 
who should be knowing that you know the message which i wanted to convey it's on the channel itself on this youtube channel make sure you share with uh, everyone around be it your family be it your friends and because it's very very important uh, you know how parents should be seeing their kids okay so thank you goodbye take care and i'll see you again tomorrow at 5 pm